Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Substance TV. This story, A Chance in Your Heart, is played by Brian Okwara as Dr. Williams, Lily as Chine Nebe, and Rose as Sonia Uche. So guys, grab your popcorn as we delve into this amazing story of today. In a small dilapidated house on the outskirts of a bustling city in Asaba lived two sisters, Lily and Rose. They grew up in a family setting that was devoid of love. From a tender age, they saw affection as a luxury they couldn't afford. Their parents, burdened by poverty and their own struggles, were unable to provide the nurturing care every child deserved, leading them to be distant from their children. Despite their circumstances, Lily and Rose were determined to break free from the circle of poverty. They scraped through primary and secondary school, often attending classes hungry and wearing hand-me-down clothes. But despite their hardship, they found solace in each other's company, forming an unbreakable bond formed out of sheer struggles. They avoided keeping friends to save themselves from shame and embarrassment. As the years passed, Lily, the elder sister, managed to secure a job to see herself through university. It was a glimmer of hope amidst the darkness of their reality. With unwavering determination, she pursued her studies, fueled by a desire to build a better future for herself, Rose, and her parents. As Lily continued her studies at the University of Nigeria, Nsuka, immersed in books and lectures, she couldn't shake off the nagging worry that weighed heavily on her heart. One fateful day, she received the devastating news of the tragedy that befell her family. Her both parents died the same day in a ghastly motor accident while relocating to the village. The only survivor was the younger sister who sustained minor injuries. The world seemed to come crashing down around her as she came to the realization that she had lost the only people she could truly call family. The pain was unbearable, a raw ache that consumed her every thought and action. Lily's dream of a brighter future for herself and her family seemed to shatter into million pieces, leaving her feeling lost and alone in the world. The burden of responsibility weighed heavily on her shoulders as she struggled to come to terms with the sudden loss. Lily knew she had to be strong for her only sister, despite the grief and pain she was facing. Without hesitation, she went for her only surviving family, being her younger sister, Rose, and took her to her school. Rose, being a survivor of the accident that claimed her parents' life, felt the impact of the tragedy in a different way. For a while, she was really depressed. Her mental health became a mess. Lily at that time was a pillar of strength for Rose, offering the little comfort and solace she could. At this time, Lily learned to express the love she felt for her sister. A love that had always been stifled by the absence of affection in their home. She poured out all her affection on her only surviving sister, Rose. Lily was able to uplift Rose from the emotional turmoil and depression she suffered. Lily, as the sole caretaker of her sister, took on the responsibility of providing for Rose while continuing her education. She juggled multiple jobs, sacrificing her own needs to ensure that Rose could finish her secondary education. While Rose was living with her sister in school, Lily ensured that she wrote her WIAC examinations. When Rose was done with her exams, she found herself a job to support her sister. During her spare time, she goes to school to wait for her sister to be done with lectures. With her little income, together with Lily's support, Rose was looking good and beautiful. Lily pleaded with Rose to wait for her to complete her education since she was just 16 years, after which she would get a better job and sponsor her education fully. Rose understood that her sister was trying, that she joining her sister in school would be a burden, so she worked and saved the little she could while waiting for her sister to complete hers. Two years passed, Lily was in her final year already, while Rose was 18 years, looking all big and beautiful like a lady in her mid-twenties. One fateful day after work, Rose went to Lily's school to wait for her sister at the Faculty of Arts. As she waited for her sister to finish, she took a casual stroll through the Department of Arts. 
Her youthful beauty caught the attention of the people around while resting against a hand rail and lost in thoughts. She was approached by a lecturer who inquired about her academic level. Rose replied, stating she wasn't enrolled in any course yet. When the lecturer further inquired the reason, she stated that she was simply waiting for her sister to finish. As the lecturer was speaking with Rose, a course rep approached him with some assignment scripts from students. He pleaded with Rose to collect it and follow him to his office since her sister is still in class. While at the office, the lecturer sprung a conversation with Rose. It was then Rose mentioned and described her sister. Lilia Sadebe is your sister? Dr. Williams asked. Yes, sir, Rose replied. That's nice. She's one of my best students. Impressive, the lecturer continued. Rose's phone rang. It was her sister calling. She told Dr. Williams she would be going that her sister is already done with her lectures. Dr. Williams asked her to wait. He picked up his phone and called Lily to come to his office. Lily immediately made her way to his office. As she entered the office, she was surprised to see her sister sitting there engaged in a conversation with her lecturer. Her heart was beating fast as she was curious to know what her sister is doing in her lecturer's office. Lily, the lecturer said, Rose is your sister. Why does she look older than you? The lecturer teased and they laughed. Lily said that she took their mom's stature, that's why she's this big. Dr. Williams teased Lily, asking her to eat double of what Rose eats. Lily and Rose left the lecturer's office and walked home. While walking, Lily recounted what her lecturer said and was teasing her younger sister, saying, So my lecturer was using his eyes to size you. So he was actually taking a good look at you. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Rose smiled, saying that it's actually obvious now that she looks big and she's not the first person saying that. So when they got home, Lily continued with the gist and didn't want to end it. Dr. Williams is a very young and good-looking lecturer. All female students literally crush over him. He's a bachelor, he's a doctor, he's handsome, tall, rich, every woman's dream. A lot of students, even female lecturers, always want to be noticed by Dr. Williams. So I don't mind if he likes you. Lily was going on and on about this and Rose screamed, Lord have mercy. They both laughed about it and continued with their day's activities. Rose was a very reserved girl. She never paid attention to guys in the lodge or Lily's friend that asked her for attention. She was always in the room reading a book each time any of Lily's friends visited, be it a boy or a girl. She didn't want to have any close attachment with anyone at all. For one week straight, Rose stayed at home after work. She didn't go to wait for her sister in school because of the novel she wanted to finish reading. After she was done with the novel, on a Monday afternoon, she went to her sister's school to wait for her and she seized the opportunity to go say hi to Dr. Williams. When she knocked and entered Dr. Williams' office, he was so excited to see her again and asked why she hasn't been coming to say hi to him in his office and she explained to him that she has been engaged with lots of activities. Dr. Williams bought her lunch and they had a long gist in his office. Dr. Williams found himself really drawn to Rose. Her innocence, gentle smile and her intelligence was a turn on for him. He liked her company, so did Rose. Rose at home was always talking about Dr. Williams, gisting her sister what happened in his office, what they talked about, and how nice he is to her. Lily was shocked that her sister can be this excited talking about someone. She has never seen her sister talk about someone or being close to anyone but Dr. Williams. Dr. Williams was always a headline in their conversation. Sometimes after work, she would go to her sister's school just to be with Dr. Williams. She would wait for him in his office when he goes to lecture his students until he comes back. He was literally the only friend she had, so Lily didn't stop her. Rather, she advised her to be careful hanging with opposite sex, that she is a beautiful girl and Dr. Williams is a handsome young man, so she should know her place and respect herself in whatever she does. On a very cool Saturday, Dr. Williams called Lily to speak to Rose and told Rose that he would want to take them out. They were both excited, they dressed up and went out that evening with Dr. Williams to a very serene restaurant to have dinner.
When they got back, they couldn't stop talking about it. Lily wished for Dr. Williams to find Rose attractive. She was really happy for their closeness. Rose basically was talking to him like good friend of the same age. She was comfortable and she told him everything that were not necessarily important. That was how close they were. Months passed and Dr. Williams haven't heard from his friend Rose. Unlike Rose, she would always use her sister's phone to call him. Rose intentionally avoided speaking with Dr. Williams because of her growing feelings towards him. It was love. It was strange. How can I feel this way for someone who sees me as a sister, she said. She realized this growing feelings at the time she and her sister went to dinner with Dr. Williams and there he met his girlfriend with his friend having a girl's night out. The sweet name he called his girlfriend mine hit her heart like a nail in her heart. Her heart kicked when they kissed and hugged each other passionately, affirming their love for each other and introducing her to them as his small friend in school. He said, mine. This is my friend and her sister, the one I've been telling you about. That was it for Rose. She didn't want to see herself hurt, so she decided to stay away. Dr. Williams called to speak to Rose and Rose refused speaking to him. Very shocking to Lily. Rose has never acted that way before. She's always excited when Dr. Williams calls her. Rose got moody and Dr. Williams decided to visit. Rose was really acting cold to her sister and Dr. Williams. He asked her to dress that he wants to take her out. He was really bothered about her. He didn't like the mood at which she was. They pleaded and pleaded with her until she accepted to go out with Dr. Williams. They went to a very quiet place. He asked her what the problem was. Is it Lily? Did she say anything? Did she do anything? Does she want something? But she still kept quiet. He tried cracking jokes to make her laugh, but immediately she burst into tears. Dr. Williams felt a pain in his heart. Immediately, he hugged her, resting her head on his chest to calm her down. Talk to me, he said. I am here for you. I care about you a lot and you know that. Rose raised her head in tears, saying, I don't know what is happening to me. I am losing my mind. I am so sorry, but I can't help it when you keep coming at me. I just need space from you. I'll be fine. Dr. Williams said something, but he wasn't sure. Is it what I'm thinking? He said. Are you? He paused. Rose pleaded. I am sorry. I never asked to feel this way. Dr. Williams left her for a sec with his both hands on his face. Thank you. Thank you for feeling this way towards me. I love you, Rose. I've always loved you. But I couldn't communicate it to you because I thought it wasn't right. I was in a relationship so I thought it was wrong of me. But I couldn't help it. The thought of you wasn't healthy for my relationship so I had to call her quits. I love you so much, Rose. Rose had the shockest news ever. She was breathing fast in excitement. She jumped on him, hugging him tight. And for the first time, she was in love and had her first kiss. Dr. Williams took her back home that night. They shared the good news with Lily. Lily was so happy. She jumped, screamed. She was so happy for her sister. Her excitement was even more than Rose's excitement. When Dr. Williams left, when Dr. Williams left, Lily asked if that was what had been eating her up and Rose told her sister everything, apologizing for keeping it away from her. Lily couldn't help it. Her sister is getting married to one of the most handsome lecturers in her college. It was a big win for them and that was how the story ended. Thank you so very much guys for watching. Please do well to like this video. It is a beautiful story of mine and I hope you all enjoyed it. See you guys in my next video. Until then, stay splendid.